Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to manually import an Excel list into a SharePoint list. So to get into it, we are going to want to create a new SharePoint list. So I've created this list called order list and I have my Excel document right here that contains some basic information. And so we have to start making the list within SharePoint kind of match what is uh, represented in the Excel sheet. So first we're gonna make the title, we're gonna rename this to item. And then we have order date, so we will want a date and time field. Include time, no, because it doesn't show any time. Friendly format, yep. I like using friendly format, it looks kinda nice. All right, so we got the item, we got the order date. Now we need the region. This could probably just be a simple line of text. Because we aren't, there's no values over 255 characters and it's some pretty basic information. A rep, again, we're just gonna use a single line of text. Representative. All right. So then we have units, and I will make this a number. All right. Everything looks good. Now we need unit cost, and then we need the total. So we'll do another number, unit cost, cost of unit. Now we'll get total. And it looks like this, I just pulled this Excel document off, offline. It looks like uh, this total is a calculate field. So I'm not gonna show the calculated field how to do it in this video. I'm just gonna show you how to import the data from the Excel sheet, but that's a feature you can also do with the calculated field within SharePoint. Total cost. All right, press save. And it looks like we have all the rows. So we have seven columns here and we have seven matching. So to do this, you wanna click on edit in grid view and you wanna highlight all the cells within your Excel document. So that'll be control A, control C to copy. And then we just wanna paste within here. And sometimes it can be a little bit buggy. So I was able to get it again, I just had to um, click exit grid view and then re-enter. And so I actually copy the top line as well. So you just wanna fill this out really quick cause we're just gonna delete this row. And everything looks good to me. So exit grid view. And it looks like we still have an issue here. Oh, units has to be a number. So we'll just fill in these with numbers. So we can actually start saving the now we'll go through each row and just make sure everything looks good. And this isn't going to take too long because we didn't have too many columns and rows in this basic Excel sheet. And there we go. So we actually don't want the top one because it was the labels. So we'll go ahead and delete this. And there we go. So when doing this, the metadata will be kind of, it'll be shown whoever imported all the data that they created the data. So if we go to show hidden columns, so we add created by, modified by, it will show me as the person that created and modified it all. All the data was modified by me because I imported it like this. So that's just something to be aware about, but that is how you would imp manually import an Excel sheet into SharePoint. And sometimes when you 
try to create a list from Excel document, it doesn't work. So this is a nice clean way to do it. So I guys hope you guys liked the video, enjoyed it. It could take some getting used to to importing the data, but you will get it. So like, comment, subscribe if you like this video, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.